Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Eileen, and today we're going to look at Beltress Olympia in Bombshell Blonde. It's part of their cafe collection. I want to thank Andrea at wigstudio1.com for providing me this wig to review for you today and to remind you to be sure to go to Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group and uh, join us there. That's a private Facebook group. We have over 8,000 women there, so be sure to join us. Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group. Okay, let's have a look. Beltress Olympia. the style of Beltress Olympia. First of all, like I said, these are their heat-friendly fibers. I love Beltress heat-friendly fibers, especially on short wigs like this. Longer wigs, you know, they tend to rub on your collar and can mat a little bit. With these shorter ones, I tend to really like the heat-friendly. They're not shiny like a regular synthetic are, so it really gives this a natural look. Let me show you the back. This is such a fun, beachy, deconstructive wave style. There's just no right or, or wrong way to wear it. This would be perfect in the summer. You could dress this up and wear this very dressy too. So that's the thing I like about this wig. I think it's super versatile. This is easy to maintain, heat-friendly fibers. Be sure to keep your styling tools no higher than 350. And also, always be sure to take care of your heat-friendly uh, wigs with a wide tooth comb. That's very important. You want these to last just as long as you can. If you feel like you're getting any kind of matting or knotting, I, when I take off my wigs, I always spray them with just a little bit of detangler. Brush that through it with the, with the wide tooth comb. Just comb through it. Make sure it's all smooth before I put it up to wear it for the next time. Like I said, just a short, fun. Now, I put mine behind my ears. You don't have to. You could wear it just like that. Wear it down and just get a lot of fun curls out of this. Let's have a look at the inside of the cap. The inside of the cap for Beltress Olympia, beautiful lace front into a left mono part. It does have permatease here. Not a huge amount, but enough to give you some lift. Very nicely done ear tabs. Has the fiber going up into the ear tabs for a really realistic look. Open wefted, closed non-extended nape pull adjusters and I did pull this in as this was a little large on me so this has a lot of stretch as well uh, I think this would be good for a larger size head and here is another look at bombshell blonde Okay, let's talk about this color, Bombshell Blonde. It is a golden brown root, and that it is. It is a beautiful rooting. It is not too stark on this wig. It's really very well done, I think, on these Beltress uh, wigs. I love the rooting. This is a golden brown root, and it's blended with white. And you can see the white right around the face, and this gives you also a look at this beautiful lace front. But it's blended with that white. So pretty. Pure blonde and satin blonde. And also, this has some gold running through it. You can see the gold running through this wig. So in my opinion, this has a lot of dimension on this wig. With the uh, different shades of blonde, the white, a little bit of gold. It just gives it a lot of dimension. I like that very much. Let's, like, let's have a look at this color and outdoor lighting. Okay, the specs on Beltress Olympia, the bang is five, the sides are five to six, the nape is 1.5, the back is 10.5, so it has an overall specs of five to 10.5, and it weighs 2.9 ounces. All right, let's think about some ways to style her. Of course, you know I'm always going to put a headband on. I think that's just such a fun way to um, style wigs. Also, I have a larger one that really could dress it up. 
wear it with some glasses, of course. And you could use some styling cream and really get in here and define these curls if you would like. That would be easily, easily done. You can get a lot of body in here and just get it as messy, in my opinion, the messier the better on this one. Just as messy as you want it to be. And you can pull it out and make it bigger if you'd like. Or just easily with your wide tooth comb, you can smooth it down and make it a tad more sleek. Put it behind your ears and just wear it all forward. No wrong way to wear this wig. Okay, guys, that is my review of Veltress Olympia. Again, thank you, Wig Studio One. And be sure to go to wigstudio1.com to look at this and many, many other styles they have available. And again, don't forget to join us on our private Facebook group. And also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, where I have Wig to Toe Wednesday. Every Wednesday, I throw my wig on, show you my outfit of the day. So be sure to join me there. Thank you so much. Thank you for all your support. Please leave me lots of comments below. And don't forget, we're all in this together.